Hello guys and welcome to episode 76 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. So last week we did a Godzilla monster animation, literally, where we smashed up some towns and we spent a lot of time keyframing that in the bonus material. And this week I'm gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna do some low poly turrets. And I've prepared a few things, you'll see that there's a little bit different today. Because uh, instead of using my normal uh, colorizing texture, I went to a royalty-free image site. I just googled royalty-free images and I found pixabay.com. So I decided to go there and search for supercars because supercars tend to have some interesting colors and shapes to them. And I downloaded a few random images from there and then I cropped them out. Game engines like to have square textures that are the power of two in size. So I got uh, some textures that I cropped down to 512 by 512 pixels and I've imported one of those and uh, I'm actually gonna use the base color now or just like a random sample in the image for the modeling part but then we'll randomize the textures. If you're making uh, a game that you're gonna play on a mobile phone or if the items are gonna be quite small, the turrets in this case, then you get away with uh, this randomized look. But if you wanna have a close up, you should really draw your textures and have them fitted and uh, UV mapped, of course. But I won't have time to do that in the 10 minute uh, video. So I thought this could be an interesting twist to it. I've also prepared a little Unity project where I've got some turrets auto firing on targets that are closest to them. And I'll hopefully make a tutorial out of that one too. But if you're a Patreon of mine, you can actually go to patreon.com slash infensia and the game dev tier or the tutorial tier enough, in fact, will be able to download this Unity project that I've prepared. So you can have a play around with it, maybe use it as a base for your own game. So let's set the timer. I always cut this part out, but maybe I'll put it in one day. All right, let's get going. Ready, steady, go. And let's model some low poly turrets. Tab into edit mode. Hold the control key, snap this one up there. This is gonna be the base just so. Scale to scale that one down. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale that one down as well. That's gonna be the base. Shift D, duplicate that one. Here's the turret part so e to extrude that on keep it super low poly of course e to extrude that's the scale um, and control r maybe we'll do slightly different thickness there uh, shift d duplicate that one scale y scale z zero so we flatten that one e to extrude that one and actually i'm going to do scale x zero and make that square again oh we have to do uh, of course auto mirror so that's the add-on uh, it's included just enable it and here uh, let's do some arms shift d duplicate e to extrude and here we'll put the turrets now shift d scale e to extrude that on e to extrude s to scale z only on the z axis and then here we'll do the actual barrel part so shift d duplicate s to scale e to extrude shift d i'm going to make these a separate object so we can animate these i to inset and then just do a little hole here that's it. And uh, should we put some more interesting features here? Probably E to extrude. Oh, that's wrong. E to extrude. Move that one down. Just break it up a little bit more. E to extrude. S to scale. Bring it in here as well. Should we do? Maybe I'll do uh, Shift D duplicate. I'm just doing some random stuff, of course. Normal Infensia style. Alt E to extrude long face normals. Control R bring that up and maybe shift the duplicate e to extrude and let's put some interesting legs on it two minutes gone so scale y i'm just gonna bring those in e to extrude but we'll bring it to there and then we'll do maybe control r e to extrude should we do like clumpy feet to E to extrude? That should be good. And bring that in. Should we move it in a little bit further? That's it. Control R. Scale. I don't like the that that vertex is over there, so let's move that on in. That's it. And L to select this one, shift D, scale Y minus one. That flips it, but we need to do Alt N and recalculate outside to flip the normals there. That's why it's good to have back face calling on. And one more feature here, maybe on the side, shift D, scale E to extrude. That's it, and E to extrude, S to scale. That's it, that's gonna be our first turret. Maybe we'll do one more or two more. Possibly. 
Maybe we could texture map it in the 10 minutes as well. So that's turret number one. Let's do shift D to duplicate it. Actually, I'll probably texture the base, should I? So we get the same look. Nah. Uh, shift D to duplicate it. Shift space G. Hold the control key to snap it into here. And then we'll do this one a little bit different. So I'll select L, just select all the linked ones because I'm still in the same object. Delete all of those. Let's make a different type of turret here. So we can change the base a little bit too. Maybe a little bit longer there. And this one can come in all of it. Control R. Move that up. <clears throat> Bring this in. GG slides it along an edge. So that's pretty handy. GG. A good game. And then the base can look pretty much the same. Shift D, duplicate. And we should have a different look on this one. E to extrude. And Control R, loop cut, scale, Control R. <laughs> Make it look different, I say, and then I do it looking the same. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll do Alt E to extrude along the face normals there. And should we have it coming up from the back here, maybe? So we'll do uh, here, Shift D. Scale, bring it in, E to extrude, E to extrude, Control R, I have no idea what I'm doing now, E to extrude, just some randomness, always good. Unless you're making a game, apparently you shouldn't use random elements in a game, that annoys people. E to extrude, should we do them hanging down maybe from this one? So I'll do like an arm here, Shift D, Scale, and E to extrude. Maybe we'll do e texture there as well. That was a bit unnecessary, but it's okay. And e texture that on. Here we'll do them hanging down. e extrude S to scale, maybe on the x-axis. And shift D, scale, e extrude <clears throat> Normal style. I'm actually got allergies now, so I've got something to blame for a change. Shift D, scale. For my little harkling <laughs> e to extrude and should we do just a different design on this one all together Control r again alt select around there scale z maybe like this e to extrude s to scale and we'll do the height inset and e to extrude in and some slightly different features maybe too just the box here looks a bit plain doesn't it so We'll do uh, Shift D to duplicate, Alt E to extrude long face normals, L to select the link, scale X, and bring these in. Control R, Control R, let's look, cut a few of these. Alt E, extrude long face normals. And that should be all right, I think. Maybe we'll do Shift D. I've got three minutes, so we should try to just do the random texturizing here. Clipping off, clipping on again. E to, we'll just do two turrets, I think. Two different looks on them. And we can put some different design here on this barrel. E to extrude. Some fancy Shift D to extrude. I don't know if it's that fancy, <laughs> to be honest. Shift D, duplicate, E to extrude. And should we put one more thing here? Shift D, scale, alt E, extrude long face normals. That's it. And E to extrude that one. Okay, so we've got two turrets here now. Different sizes. I've got an itchy nose too. Take care, took care of that pretty fast. Two minutes 30. Okay, let's texture map these. So I'm just going to go to tab into edit mode, select all of them. And then we're going to uh, not shading, UV editing. That's where I was actually. UV and then just smart UV project. Okay, and that'll just throw the texture randomly onto this one. And then you can play around with the, the panning of it. So if I scale it, it'll just change it. And usually I prefer to go smaller actually like this, because you're gonna watch, look at them from a distance like this probably. Um, but you can play around with it. You can also move it outside. It doesn't matter because it seamlessly wraps around the corners there. So you can even find any place here and you can also rotate it if you want to rotate for a different look. So if you find like an interesting part here, 
maybe where it contrasts between white and black and then rotate it and you can find a decent looking like turret like this and if we wanted to have the barrels maybe in one color there's we can select l for or we'll just do l here for the length scale zero works on this one but remember in unreal engine it's a bit picky so you might uh, have to do it a little bit different there you can't go infinitely small i don't think but let's put it like that so we have a solid color on there and maybe here as well we'll do so it's solid colors on these you can keep the random look but usually maybe for the barrels you want to keep it slightly different for this one as well we'll do tab a to select everything uv smart uv project okay and then scale rotate just find usually symmetry makes it looks pretty cool like this in different uh, angles and stuff we'll do l to select the link here and go scale zero on the left so we get a solid colored barrel here it looks probably a little bit better when we animate and if you wanted to change you could just change the base here as well maybe these are too big maybe we wanted them a little bit more solid colored i can make them smaller rotate just random random stuff so that's it we've got uh, maybe we can test uh, we've got 27 seconds to spare we can actually try to sh change the texture here as well so let's just open and do the blue one instead uv editing okay that looked hideous so it's a little bit dependent on which textures they use apparently so go tab into edit mode a to select everything and then you can move that to a different color change it move it and that's it that's it 10 minutes is up and we've got some random looking uh, stuff. I'll go back, just control Z a few times. So we get that other texture back, I think. I think it looked a little bit better with the gray there. Uh, but we can test around in the Unity as well. I'll show you a few tips there. So what we'll do is export these into uh, two like uh, turrets that we'll import into Unity in the bonus material now. So this is not gonna be a tutorial because I'm gonna run through it pretty fast, but uh, I've got everything prepared so uh, Put in the comments i always ask that if you want a tutorial and people say yes and then i don't have time to make them <laughs> or I find something else to do <laughs> stupid i know but i'll try anyway so let's export these i'm going to export them as three different objects so if i do l here on the base i will select the base stuff there press p and separate the selection and i'm going to press f2 rename this one turret one base let's call it imagination there and then here, the barrels I'm going to do separate as well, because we want to animate the barrels here. So when they fire, they're going to shoot back a little bit, like a recoil effect like this. It looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do this one and then do P to separate by selection. And then we'll do F2 and rename this one turret one barrel. Is that how you spell barrel? I think so. And then we'll do the top here. That's already separated. So F2 and we'll call this one top. And it's important that the center of rotation for this now is uh, where you want it to be. And we're going to parent the, the barrels here to this uh, top here, so don't worry about that. The barrels will rotate with the object. Am I it's petrified that I wasn't recording again. So, uh, that's the first one, and uh, we can hide this one for now. I'm missing something here. Okay, then I rename this. Barrel. There we go. So, let's hide those. I'll select this one and do Alt G. That moves it back to Origo or the default center location here. So, and then we'll do the same here. We'll do F tab into edit mode, L to select the base stuff here, and then P separate selection. That's it. And then I'll do all of them first, actually. We'll do the barrels here. These are the ones that are going to recoil. So, P separate by selection. And then we'll do F2 turret 2 barrel. And then we'll rename this one F2 turret 2 top. And here, F2 turret 2 base. So these are all prepped now. Let's grab them all, put them in the same scene like this. Select them, all of them, all of them selected. You can right click here as well and do select objects. Or you could just drag and drop. And then we'll go file, export, FBX. And then here we'll do selected objects. Apply scalings, we'll do unit scale, FBX unit scale, and then apply time transform. It's a little shortcut to get the rotation correct, but it doesn't work for armatures, remember. And we'll rename this one to turrets 
M 10 MMC 76 turrets. Export. Alright, so let's jump into the Unity project that I've prepared now, and I won't be able to go through it, but what I do have is I've created a base turret uh, game object hierarchy with a base, a turret, a barrel, and some muzzle locations so I know where the bullets are going to be fired from, and some audio when it rotates, and then uh, I've created some prefabs as well, a bullet, an explosion, and uh, a target, just a test target, and some impact effects, and a uh, turret. Part. So. What we'll do is uh, I'm going to go into this one and we'll just drag and drop this uh, FBX file that I've uh, created into this folder, meshes. So we've got these meshes here. You recognize them here. And we also have to grab those textures that we got. So I'm going to drag and drop those into, let's just do here, create folder, textures. And we'll drag and drop those ones that I created before. I'll grab the square ones so it's the same ones. So we'll drag this one in, which we haven't tested. The orange one here, which we haven't tested either. And we've got the white one and the other square one here. Which one? Oh, yeah, the blue one. There we go. And I have to set these meshes now as well. So we've got turret what? Turret one base. And we've got turret one top here, which is called turret here. <laughs> and we've got the barrels. Turret one barrel. And you have to grab the mesh object down here so it knows. That's it. So if I grab that one, we'll drag this texture that we imported. We'll use the same one turret. And then we'll grab this gray texture and drag it into the base map here. And should recognize it there. Let's move this one into the center. So, <clears throat> and then I should move it up a little bit, probably. That's it. So I've got the turret here, and like I said, I won't have time to go through how I've created everything, but. Just a short run through is on the base here on the turret. I've got like a turret script where I can set targeting speed, a search radius, how long it should be searching for targets, and how many rounds per minute it should be firing. And then I've set which prefab it should be uh, that it fires, and that's just a, a bullet with a trail on it. And then I've got muzzles here, and these we need to configure. So, where you got select the muzzle L here, and then I usually click here on perspective and go into ISO isometric. Click on the z-axis because then it's going to be easier to position this one in the center of the barrel there. And then we have to do the same for the top, so I press on this y-axis and then we move this one down to there. And then to save time you could, uh, I could just delete this right one. Okay, I can't because it's a prefab. Okay, let's do it this way then. I'll uh, go to the muzzle L here. Uh, copy position and then right click here or oh, no I don't right click paste position and then we just flip the x value for this one and now that those two muzzles are in the right place here for so it knows where to fire the bullet from so these are little helper transforms and we can try this out now so if I press play we should have ourselves a little targeting turret here that we just designed and it aims and fires at uh, just the target that spawns at the mouse cursor and if you click, I just made it so... And it keeps targeting the closest one there. And I've put some random sound effects on there from uh, my Blasters sound effects library. And in fact, if you go to Infancia.com and look up uh, Blasters sound effects library, if you use the code 10MMCEP76, then you'll get 50% discount and you can download thousands of Blaster sound effects. Pretty cool. Self-promoting my own uh, assets here. It's not so often that I mention them, actually. Okay, we're seeing that it's missing the target, and it's because the target's a little bit too small. So maybe I'll just increase the size of those targets. Test target, we'll do scale maybe 1.5 instead. Should that work? Let's try it. There we go. Okay, and 
it looks a little bit different. It's because I don't have the same uh, texture settings that I did. So if we go into this object or the material, then this is probably the way it looked. 1-1 one, one and 0-0 zero, zero here. Um, this is a little bit more similar to what it looked like when it was in uh, Blender. But you can play around with this as well. So on this texture now, you can just slide on uh, the tiling, for example, and that'll change the way it looks a little bit. Could get some pretty cool looking styles on it. Let's see if we can see both here. I remember now, you wouldn't want to have it like this, of course. You can't go this close to this turret. It looks uh, not so good. So, but from a distance like this in a game, if you're making that mobile game or something, then it works. But like I said, we'll uh, just slide this so we can change the offset as well. That pans the texture. So you can find some interesting looking shapes down there. This audio thing is annoying the a lot out of me. So let's uh, hide this one. Gizmos will hide that one. So. Turrets. And again, slide, tiling, play around with that one. Get an interesting look. And you can slide around the offset to pan it. And if you want it to be more solid colors, you go down with the tiling down to something really small in both values here. Then you get more solid colors because it's basically like zooming into the texture. So now it looks like it's got some vents. That's probably, let's press play on this one and see. That looks a bit crisper, I guess, but still some different looks to it. And if it's taking too long to shoot these, we could actually duplicate this one. So let's just make a copy of this one and put it two to the side there. We've got two turrets. Maybe this one should be a little bit different. We'll do one that rotates faster. So turret here, maybe it'll, tracking speed is five, but it wrote, it only fires like 60 shots per minute. And then we'll do another one here as well that we put next to it on the other side. And then we'll change the parameters on this one. We'll do rounds per minute. It's gonna be like 600, but targeting speed is super slow, one. Let's try this. Oh, there's some targets. So, some different uh, things to play around with there. Okay, and uh, now that we've got multiple, sometimes when you have more objects than one as well, not only does symmetry make it look pretty cool, but when you have multiple objects, they look uh, nice together as well. So we can change the look of those with the sliding, just the offset here, panning and the tiling again to whichever way you want. We should try the different colors here as well. So not entirely sure that this will look so good. So, but we'll try the blue one that we had before. There we go, blue texture. And then we'll go, this changes for all of them. So let's see, let's, let's see what we've got here. And these, then you get, get that little, like a team colored look maybe, if you add that one. Change the panning again. There maybe, looks like it's got some uh, head there that's looking. There we go, and let's try the other one as well. We've got the orange one, what does that look like? So it doesn't look so orange, it's because we've panned it somewhere. Change the tiling, one, one, and then here, change. There, it looks like an industrial robot type thing now. So maybe we'll actually won't maximize it on play so we can see both here, the scene view and the top view. And it tracks the active target here as well, if it's closest. Let's import the other one as well. We'll make a copy out of this one. Maybe we'll put these up here to the side. So the, this can be what, like one team. And then we'll do copy this one. Move that one down there. Spin it around, around the y-axis, 180. And then here, I'll just swap these now for the other. So we'll go base, mesh here. We'll do turret two, base. And then for the turret here, we'll do turret to top and barrel, turret to barrel. And this one, we need to change those uh, muzzles as well, since the, 
the uh, they're placed a little bit different. So we'll go barrel here. No, 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 no. They're a little bit similar, but not in the same place. So remember, click on perspective. And this is not a tutorial, <laughs> but I say it anyway like that. So move it into the center and then go from the front view. Okay, that was the back view. There's the front view. Oh yeah, I'm looking from the other side, of course. Okay, let's look from the side then. There we go. And then we'll do copy, position, paste it onto the right one. These are just the placeholders. And then flip the Y or the X component there. So that, then now we should have it in that place. And we could create a, maybe a separate texture for this one so we can control them so they look different. I don't know why I have to turn textures there. Tart 2. And here we can put, let's try the white texture that we had. White. And then for Tart 2 here, we'll select these three base, Tart, and Barrel, and replace that with Tart 2 texture. Then we've got independent control out of this one. Maybe we'll do duplicates here as well. So control D to duplicate it. And these won't fire on each other now because I haven't uh, configured the other ones as targets. So, but that could be a simple fix if we wanted to put that one. Should they, they should be a little further apart, maybe minus four and four. And these have different rotation speeds now. Maybe we'll give them some different properties too. So turret here, let's do super fast tracking. Or no, not super fast, but eight. And then rounds per minute. How many? 120, that's pretty good. Oh, that's gonna be a dangerous turret. This one, we'll do two, it can remain there. Let's do 320, okay, never mind. Let's keep, just keep, give it left. Turret 2, we can change around here with the tiling as well and look what do we like on these. And the offsets. Offset is panning and tiling makes it more or less uh, solid colors and details. You can go negative as well so it starts to go more detail again. But maybe like this would be. So we should separate these turrets a little bit too. 3 and minus 3. There we go. So now we've got two turret types here. And they're firing together. I've also made it so that it plays the animation based on the speed of the rounds per minute. It calculates how fast it should play the animation. And uh, again, if you're... Uh, so if you want to download this Unity project, uh, you can become a patron at uh, patreon.com slash infensia. And I've already uploaded this Unity project so you can have a play with it and see, maybe you'll learn from it or maybe you want to copy some logic and build on it and make a tower defense game, why not? <laughs> we can also change the sound effects. Let's put these on. So for like a turret here, maybe we'll disable a few of these so we can test some uh, different turret sounds. So I'll just shift select these. And here I've just done so in the turret script. I've got uh, a few audio clips here that I can randomize. And in the blaster sound effects library, whoa, 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 whoa. Or X round robin, it means that every sound effect has got four variations to it. Because when you repeat firing uh, sounds rapidly, you don't want it to sound like a typewriter. So if you knew some slight variation to it and randomize between those different samples, it sounds a little bit better. So let's go into the medium folder here and go loud. And then I'll just drag some more sound effects in here. So I'll include these as well. You can use them. If you uh, download this from Patreon, you can use these sound effects if you want. Or you could buy that uh, sound effects pack from Infensia.com. So there we go. Let's bring some sounds in. Let's just pick a random one here. I should pause that because they'll need it to fire. So we'll pick... Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe they'll try this one. any random sound there. Quick way to do there is just to go zero on the array, click the little padlock icon and we can select these and drag them into fire clips there. And let's see what this sounds like. Okay, 
Okay, let's try another sound. Forty-seven, maybe. Zero. Let's grab these in. I can see them. There we go. Okay, should we do uh, a totally different sound here, maybe? Do a longer sound. And some slower firing, maybe. So we'll go into the long and very loud. Long and loud. Just pick one. This one, low, mid frequencies, very loud. There we go. Zero on the array, le array length. Oh, I missed one, but never mind. That's pretty cool. And we could give it some more damage as well. Oh, I didn't expose the damage. Then. It's the health of these, never mind. And then if it works in unison with the other one with a different sound here. Oh yeah, the padlock icon. Perfect. Oh, he's inside one. Alright folks, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. And just one more mention as well, if you want to download this project, head over to patreon.com slash infensia, become a supporter there from the tutorial tier and up and you'll be able to download this project, play around with it, use the scripts, use the little hierarchy of uh, turret lo logic there and make a little game out of it. Why not? So uh, until next week, have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye for now.